Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 9.5 graphs of sine, cosine, and tangent. 9.5 represents chapter 9, section 5 of the person A level maths, pure maths year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Over here, I've drawn the graph of y equals sine x for x is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees inclusive. The maximum value of the graph is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1. The graph of y equals sine x is symmetrical and it is also periodic. This means that it repeats itself. The graph of y equals sine x repeats itself every 360 degrees. Let's move on to the next graph. Over here, I've drawn the graph of y equals cos x for x is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees inclusive. The maximum value of the graph is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1. The graph of y equals cos x is also symmetrical and it is periodic. It repeats itself every 360 degrees. Let's move on to the next graph. Over here, I've drawn the graph of y equals tan x for x is between minus 360 degrees and 360 degrees inclusive. This time, the interval is larger. This graph has asymptotes at x equal minus 270 degrees, x equal minus 90 degrees, x equal 90 degrees, and x equal 270 degrees within this particular interval. As you can see, there is no maximum value because the graph tends to infinity and there is no minimum value because the graph tends to minus infinity. The graph is symmetrical and is also periodic. What is the period? Now, if you look at each pair of asymptotes, we notice that there is a gap of 180 degrees. Okay, so this graph over here repeats itself every 180 degrees. These are the key facts of 9.5 graphs of sine, cosine and tangent. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Here is exam style question 1. Sketch the graph of y equals sine x in the interval x is between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees inclusive. Let's have a look at the solution. I'm going to start by drawing a coordinate grid. Here is my coordinate grid. The horizontal axis represents the x-axis, the vertical axis represents the y-axis. As you can see, the graph of y equals sine x starts at y equals 0. The curve then goes up to y equals 1 when x is equal to 90 degrees. The curve comes back down to y equals 0 when x is equal 180 degrees. Over here, the curve goes down to y equals minus 1 when x is equal minus 90 degrees. The curve then goes back up to y equals 0 when x is equal minus 180 degrees. This is the sketch of y equals sine x. For the interval, x is between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees inclusive. This completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. Solve for x is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees inclusive. Part A, sine x equal to 0 0.3. Part B, cos x equal to square root 3 over 2. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. I'm going to start by rewriting the trigonometric equation. So I've got sine x equal to 0 0.3. To find x, I need to take sine inverse of 0 0.3. So x is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.3. I can calculate sine inverse of 0 0.3 using my calculator. The solution obtained directly from the calculator is called the principal solution. So the principal solution for x to one decimal place is 17.5 degrees. To find the other solution in this given interval, I need to sketch the graph for y equals sine x in that given interval. So here is my graph. That there, ladies and gents, is the graph for y equals sine x. Now I'm going to sketch the graph for y equals 0 0.3. This is the graph for y equals 0 0.3. There are two points of intersection. Here is the first one. Here is the second one. These x values are the solutions for sine x equals 0 0.3 for that given interval. 
This x solution is my principal solution, which is 17.5 degrees. The distance from 0 to 17.5 degrees is just 17.5. Now we know that the graph for y equals sine x is symmetrical. Hence the distance from 180 degrees to that second solution, I can call it question mark, this distance over here is also 17.5. To work out this question mark, I need to simply do 180 degrees, take away 17.5 degrees. This gives me 162.5 degrees. These are the solutions for x such that sine x is equal to 0 0.3 for this given interval. This completes part A of exam style question 2. Moving on to part B. Now we are going to solve cos x equals square root 3 over 2. Again, I'm going to start by rewriting the trigonometric equation. So I've got cos x equals square root 3 over 2. To work out x, I need to take cos inverse of square root 3 over 2. So x is equal to 30 degrees. To find the other solution for x in this given interval, I need to sketch the graph for y equal cos x for that given interval. So here is my graph. So this is the graph of y equal cos x. Now I'm going to sketch the graph for y equals square root 3 over 2. Now square root 3 over 2 is close to 1, so the graph for y equals square root 3 over 2 will look something like this. Okay, so that is y equal square root 3 over 2. There are two points of intersection. Here is the first one. Here is the second one. These x values here are precisely the solutions for cos x equals square root 3 over 2 for that given interval. This first solution over here is my principal solution 30 degrees. The distance from 0 to 30 degrees is precisely 30. We know that the graph for y equal cos x is symmetrical. So we can see that the distance from 360 degrees to that second solution over here, question mark, is also 30. So how do we work out that question mark? All we have to do is 360 degrees take away 30 degrees. And that there gives me 330 degrees. So these are the solutions for x such that cos x is equal to square root 3 over 2. Alright, so these solutions are in this given interval. And that there completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video, 9.5 graphs of sine, cosine and tangent. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.